Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the construction of a parabola by eccentricity method. Here, we are going to draw a parabola with the distance of the focus from the directrix at 50 mm. Before going to the construction, let's discuss the basics of the conics and the basics of the parabola. Now, the basics of the conics is, suppose if there is a fixed point, we call this as the focus, we name it as S and this point will not change its position, it will be always at this position and let's take a moving point, this can move freely anywhere and the value of x and y depends upon the position of this point and let's take a fixed line called directrix. If I join these two, I get the distance SP and if I join a line from a point P to the directrix perpendicularly and the point where it meets the directrix, let's name it as M and it is meeting perpendicular. So we get two distances SP and PM. If I take the ratio of SP by PM, it is known as the eccentricity. And in case of parabola, the value of E is 1 for parabola. Therefore, when I put 1, we get SP by PM equal to 1. It means SP equal to PM. So, this indicates that these two distance, these two lengths are equal in parabola. Let's take a parabola general form. The equation of the parabola y square equal to 4ax will have the curve right side open. Let's take x axis and y axis and this parabola will have the vertex at the origin and it will extend like this and like this. Here this is the vertex and we have a focus at a distance a comma 0 that is at a distance a from the vertex and the coordinate is a comma 0 and we have a directrix on the other side at a distance a from the vertex. So this equation is x is equal to minus a. So if I take any point p here, this is a point p and if I join this focus to this and if I take a perpendicular line from this point P to the directrix, always this will be equal. That is, if this point is a focus, we name it as S. So, this SP and PM are equal. That is, SP by PM equal to 1. The point P can be anywhere. Suppose the point P is here. Then this will be SP and this will be PM. Suppose if the point P is here itself on the vertex, then this is SP and this will be PM. So let's name the points here. This is P, this is M. Now this is P, this is M. So, this is a special case where the point P is at the vertex. So, from this we come to know that these two are equal. Everywhere it is equal, but in a special case it is a straight line where the focus and the vertex and the point where it meets the directrix is all present in a straight line and these two are equal. So, keeping this as a basis, we are going to start the construction. Here we have to draw the parabola with the distance of the focus from the directrix at 50 mm. So this focus from the directrix at 50 mm indicates that this distance from here to here is 50 mm. So it means since this V is the midpoint of focus and the directrix, so this will be 25 mm and other part will be 
25 mm. This 50 mm distance is from the focus and the directrix. But vertex will be here. So each part is 25 mm. So we are going to start the construction now. Now let's start the construction. So we have to take a directrix which is a fixed line. Then we have to draw the axis from here a horizontal line. And let's name this as AB. This fixed line directrix as AB. And let this point be M. So from M we have an axis. And these two are perpendicular. Now let's keep a measuring scale. And they say 50 mm. So 50 mm is here. So we have to mark this point as focus. But as we saw already that vertex is the midpoint of these two. So vertex will be here at 25 mm. So let's draw the straight line passing through this 25 mm. And also let's draw a vertical line passing through this 50 mm. Now let's remove the scale and this is the vertex B and this is the focus F. And this will be 25 mm and this is also 25 mm. Total it is 50 mm. So after the question, it is given in the question that the focus is at a distance of 50 mm from the directrix. Now we have to take a compass and keep it at the vertex. Then measure the length and with this length we have to cut an arc on the line perpendicular to this axis that is passing through this V. So let's cut an arc here. After cutting an arc we will name this point as E and this VF and V are equal. Now we have to draw a line passing through this E from M like this. After this we can take few perpendicular line after the vertex and these lines need not be equidistant. So from this I will take a line then I will take another line then I will take another line and these perpendicular lines need not be equidistant. So I have taken few lines and let's name this as 1 then 1 dash. This is 2 and 2 dash. This is 3 and 3 dash. This is 4 and we have 4 dash. Now take the compass, keep it at 1, 1 dash line and measure its length. Now keep the compass at the focus. Focus is here. So this 1, 1 dash length we have taken in the compass. Then we have to cut an arc in that line 1, 1 dash on either side. It is upward, that is above the axis as well as below also. So we have to cut an arc here like this. And let's name this point as P1. This is P1 dash. In the same way, again, let's go for the line 2. So let's keep the compass here. And now let's measure the length of 2, 2 dash. So let's measure the length 2, 2 dash. Then move the compass to the point focus. 
then cut an arc in the line 2 to dash above and below like this so two arc we cut then name the point as p2 this is p2 and this is p2 dash again take the compass keep it at the 3 3 dash line we have to keep it at 3 and then measure the length 3 3 dash with the compass then with this measurement keep the compass at the focus and cut an arc in this 3 3 dash line one above and one below so below here then remove the compass name this point as P3 and P3 dash then keep the compass at the point 4 then measure the length 4 4 dash then lock the compass keep the compass at the focus and cut an arc in the line 4 4 dash 1 above and another one below so here so we cut an arc now remove the compass and take this point as p4 and this is p4 dash after this now we are going to join these points by a smooth curve from the vertex so from the vertex we have to draw a smooth curve which is passing through P1 then P2 then P3 then P4 like this smooth curve it is going and we can extend this in the same direction similarly even in the bottom again we have to draw the smooth curve passing through P1 dash then P2 dash then P3 dash and P4 dash and we have to extend like this and if there is any sharp bend just to make it as smoother and again extend this and this completes the required parabola construction suppose if I want a tangent at a point somewhere on the parabola for example let's take this point as P I want a tangent at this point so we have to join this point to the focus then we have to draw a perpendicular line to this PF and this perpendicular line we have to extend to meet the directrix so this is the perpendicular line this line perpendicular to PF PF is nothing but line joining the point where we need the tangent to the focus now from this point let's take this as Q we can join this and this P and we get the tangent and let's take this point as T now this QT is a tangent let's write it here this line is the tangent tangent at P and suppose if we need normal then we have to draw a perpendicular line to the tangent this is a perpendicular line to the tangent at P and this line is nothing but the normal so using this procedure we can draw tangent at any point on the curve just we have to join that point to the focus and we have to draw the perpendicular line to it to meet the directrix and from the directrix we have to join the point P and that gives the tangent and if I draw the perpendicular line to the tangent we get the normal let's try another tangent 
suppose if i want a tangent at this point for example this is some point r so i want tangent at this point so what we have to do is we have to join this point to the focus and we have to draw a perpendicular line to this line to meet the directrix then the from this point from this meeting point let's name this as some point called yes then we have to join that is this yes with this r and we get the tangent at r and if we need normal we have to just draw the perpendicular line to this tangent at r and we get the normal and thus we have completed the construction of the parabola by the eccentricity method so as per the question we have to draw the parabola with the distance of the focus from the directrix at 50 mm so here we have marked the point f from the directrix 25 Plus 20 totally, it is distance of 50 mm. Then we marked vertex. Then we constructed the perpendicular line and cut the arc as per the procedure. And we joined all the points by the smooth curve, and we got the parabola. And also we discussed about drawing the tangent and normal at any particular point on the parabola.